many of us have heard of the saying, God won't give us more than we can handle? Well, to be honest with you, this global pandemic feels like more than I can handle at times. And I can't be the only one who feels somewhat imprisoned. I find myself relating to the children of Israel in Jeremiah when we find out that they're going to be carried into captivity by Babylon for 70 years. I mean, just think about how long 70 years is. I know this quarantine seems like 70 years, but it's not. Pretty much all of us watching this video right now would die in prison if we were sentenced for 70 years. 70 years feels impossibly wrong, incredibly unfair, and horribly hard. It would seem like a lifetime of hardship without a lifeline of hope. It's long suffering. It's feeling like no good thing can ever come from this. It's needing God's perspective like never before. Sound familiar? But here's what God told the people of Israel in Jeremiah 29 10. This is what the Lord says, when 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. This is the very scene and setting where we get one of the most well-known Bible verses from Jeremiah 29 11. If you know it, say it with me. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Verses 12 through 14 say, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all of your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I banished you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I called you, carried you into exile. Yesterday, the governor announced that school would be remote for the rest of the 2019-2020 school year. I can't imagine how hard that must be for both the parents and the students. God's got a plan though. God does give us more than we can handle, but he doesn't necessarily expect us to handle the hard things that we've been given on our own. He simply wants us to hand it over to him. He doesn't want us to try to rally more of our own strength. He wants us to rely solely on his strength alone. Right now, we are all facing things that are too much for us. We are bombarded with burdens. We are weighed down with wondering, especially when it comes to, when will my life go back to normal again? We are all trying to make sense of this global pandemic that simply doesn't make sense. God is starting to teach me, though, that thinking about all the things I don't know isn't actually going to do me any good. I mean, think about it. It's not really going to change anything. Instead, God is challenging me to reflect on the things that I do know. And the main thing that I know is that God is good. So I'm trying to make his goodness the starting place to renew my perspective. Will you join me?